Hello and welcome to TV30, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Geraldine Bisset Joseph. The St. Lucia Fire Service will be hosting Fire Prevention Week 2022 from October 9th to the 15th under the theme, Fire Won't Wait, Plan Your Escape. And here to tell us more about the week and other things besides, I am joined by Assistant Divisional Officer, Officer Francis of the St. Lucia Fire Service. So first of all, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you. Okay, brilliant. Now, let's start at the beginning. Tell me a little bit about Fire Prevention Week. Um, where did it first ever begin and, and, and why is it that we recognize it here in St. Lucia? Yes, Fire Prevention Week uh, originated from a uh, devastating fire that happened in the, in the city of, uh, of Chicago in the USA. Mm -hmm. um, in the year 1871, mm -hmm. on October 8th, there was that devastating fire that killed over 200 persons and left over one half well, it destroyed over 100,000 homes wow. and over 2,000 acres was scorched to the ground. That's all the way back then. Mm -hmm. So since 1922, um, the, the National Fire Protection Association, which is the, um, uh, an organization in the United States mm -hmm. that creates standards for different industries, mm -hmm. they have been commemorating Fire Preven Prevention Week. Okay. So this year is 100 years oh. since this has been um, commemorated. Okay. Right. Yes. I didn't recognize, I didn't realize. So it's actually a century older right now. It has now. been. Okay, has brilliant. Been. So as, with it being, um, it being the, the 100th anniversary, is, are there big things going on? Do you know globally to, to recognize yes. it? Globally, this has been commemorated. But okay. we thought it uh, fitting mm -hmm. um, to recognize it here in St. Lucia as well. We have been doing it, mm -hmm. but this year we want to do it in a, in a grander way. I you know, And we have some very uh, great activities mm -hmm. that everyone can participate in mm -hmm. and recognizing our history as well, uh, it makes good sense that we recognize um, this uh, event, this mm -hmm. commemoration as well. Okay, brilliant. Okay, now I mentioned um, in my opening, I mentioned that you all actually have a theme this year, Fire Won't Wait, Plan Your Escape. Tell me a little bit about the theme. How did you all come up with the theme and, and why is that the theme for, for this year? Yes, yeah, so every year, um, the National Fire Protection Association um, will recognize um, an element of safety mm -hmm. and make it prominent mm -hmm. um, as the theme uh, for that year. Uh, it is uh, important to note that that fire in Chicago uh, was as a result of uh, some incident that happened in a home. Mm -hmm. And this brings to memory something that, that may have happened here in St. Lucia as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. One of the great fires that that may have shaped the history of St. Lucia and Castries, yeah. um, the 1948 fire, yeah. may have started in a home. The stories are still going around. Mm -hmm. We are not sure exactly mm -hmm. where and how it started, but persons um, have recounted that it may have been in a home, and there are many stories floating around. Yeah. But we recognize, even here in St. Lucia, that a majority of the fires that the fire department respond to as a result of, well, emanate in homes. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, it's low-income homes. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, our statistics um, indicate that approximately 110 or so fires um, happen in homes. Mm. And again, I'm saying it's in low-income homes. Okay, okay. Very poor people. Yeah. Becoming even poorer. Okay. Yeah. So it behoves us to yeah. do something to alleviate that kind of stress on people. Mm -hmm. Now, I said homes. It's not one person. Likely, the typical home has three persons dwell in there, and sometimes more. Mm -hmm. We go to fires, and there are seven persons in that house. Yeah. And could you imagine the ick it can create, the distress when you, when you go to such a fire and you leave seven persons standing there with just the clothes on their back? Right. Everything is destroyed. Everything is gone. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is a very serious social issue as well for mm -hmm. us here in St. Lucia. Okay. All right. Now, you touched on the, 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 the fact that, you know, these... So many of these things happen within low-income homes. And I understand um, there was a bit of um, literature I was reading where the activities that are supposed to take place within um, the week of, the, 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 week of um, the, the Fire Prevention Week are supposed to be ones that will help educate and, and bring light to a lot of things that maybe people might need to know. So if you can elaborate for us on what kind of stuff will actually be happening during the week for us so we can understand what things that people can actually take part in so that our audience can understand what it is that they might be able to be a part of as well. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Okay. So this week, uh, which is before Fire Prevention Week, Fire Prevention Week officially starts on the 9th of October. Right. But this week, um, from, the, from the 3rd, mm -hmm. we have been attempting to reach St. Lucia through, through media. 
Right. We've, we've been trying to flood uh, our, our media, our mass media, mm -hmm. with information about Fire Prevention Week. Right. Um, so we have been using all the social media outlets and also tel we hope to use television and radio platform to reach St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. We hope to do it in both in Creole and in, in English. Brilliant. We are bilingual. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interestingly, this is Creole Heritage Month. Yeah, exactly. So we yeah. will rec recognize that Creole, Patois. Mm -hmm. Say mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we want to be in the homes of every single individual. And as well, most of our low-income persons, mm -hmm. the low-income homes, right. the vulnerable homes, people speak predominantly Creole. Yeah, that's correct. So we do not want to leave them out. In fact, they are the primary target of our, um, our, our outreach. Okay. So this um, media um, reach, uh, uh, outreach will happen for this week prior to uh, fire prevention week. Okay. But on 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 Sunday, mm -hmm. we have a grand motorcade. Okay. All right. And we hope to go through every community, every major community in Saint Lucia. Wow. It's a fire service motorcade, okay. one of a kind. It has never happened before. Okay. But we hope it will become a staple every year okay. as part of our fire prevention week. Okay. So we want to get into the communities. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, hand out uh, information. We want to get every firefighter involved. Okay. Uh, that is the intent of it, yeah. to reach out to persons, to let them know that uh, safety is their business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As an organization, as a government, an arm of government, we have our part to play. But primarily, your safety is your business. Mm -hmm. Your investment, your home, your property is your business. And so if you allow a fire to devastate it, you will lose. The country will lose. The country will become poorer, but first of all, it will touch your life yeah. in many different ways. Mm -hmm. And so we want to uh, sensitize persons. Mm -hmm. We want to let persons know that uh, the activity, um, the, the, the week of activities mm -hmm. will be happening. And we want to let them know that we may be coming to the, the town, okay. to the village, to mm -hmm. the community to have mm -hmm. events as well. So this okay. is the main thrust. Of the of the of the motorcade. Okay, is there a route for the motorcade? Or? Oh yes, okay. oh yes, and mm -hmm. the the route is also interesting. Okay. So we are starting at the Grozile Fire Station. Mm -hmm. We are starting at seven a.m. Mm -hmm. on Sunday morning, Sunday the ninth. Okay. Um, the the fire station, the units, if there are no emergencies, if there are no fires at the time, as exigencies are permit, they will lead the motorcade through the village of Grozile. So please bear with us. So the, no the noise we'll be making yes. is a good noise, <laughs> okay. a good noise. Yeah. We are, we'll be sounding the trumpet to let you know that fire will not wait. Yeah. Plan your escape. Mm -hmm. This is what we, are, we will be there to tell you. And so we will go through the village and we will exit along Marina Street next to um, the, the, the harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, the fire station, the, the, fire, um, the, the fire equipment mm -hmm. from the Gozilla fire station, the vehicles may return to the station mm -hmm. and uh, the train will continue down all the way to Corinth. Mm -hmm. We will go up to Monier, yeah. uh, to, to Babuno Fire Station. Again, the Babuno uh, uh, Fire Truck, the officers who are on duty, will mm -hmm. lead the parade okay. uh, through parts of, of Babuno, mm -hmm. and we will exit. We will exit, however, through Bocage. Mm -hmm. We will go down. We want to pass through the marshal area, another vulnerable area where a fire starts. Likely, multiple houses will be destroyed. Mm -hmm. So we want to sound the alarm to these persons as well. Let them know that the week is coming up, and we want, we have lots in store for them, mm -hmm. and they should participate as well. So okay. we will go through the, uh, the, the area of the, of the Marshall Boulevard mm -hmm. into the city. We hope to make around, um, make the city circuit. Mm -hmm. We will stop at, uh, somewhere in town for a short period mm -hmm. to have some breakfast because we will be leaving quite early. Yeah. And I want to speak about our sponsors as well. Okay. They've made our breakfast. Mm. breakfast for the part participants possible okay. Okay. so uh, i hope you'll give me an, a moment yes, to really um, let persons know mm -hmm. that we have people uh, the, the corporate sector yeah. you know um, mm -hmm. they are really supporting, supporting our yeah. event yeah. so i want to uh, speak about them as well so mm -hmm. we will leave castries mm -hmm. and we will head down through the east coast yeah. to v4 mm -hmm. stopping at every uh, um, community uh, and also, for example, in Denry, mm -hmm. again, the fire truck and the ambulance would lead once they're available. They will return and we will continue down to Mikud. We will do the same. Right. We will stop in Vifort for some, for some lunch. Again, mm -hmm. we have great sponsors who have made lunch possible. So mm -hmm. we can remain on time. Mm -hmm. People don't disperse because they need some refreshment. Yeah. And then we will continue around the island. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll make a run through Vifort, yeah. go through the St. Jude's Highway, through Auger, um, onto the uh, Vifort Library Highway, into wow. through Library, yeah. and down um, to PI, through Swazel, 
uh, through uh, Pont Saint Jacques. Okay. Very vulnerable community yes, as well. Yes, Not yes. just to fire, but mm -hmm. uh, we know what happened with floods and hurricanes. Yeah. By mm -hmm. the way. We may be speaking about fire, mm -hmm. but the fire department responds to disasters in yeah, general. Yeah. And they, we are in hurricane season. Yes. We are prone to flooding and, and the effects of the wind and so forth. We will be speaking about this as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm -hmm. we will go through Fontaine Jack. We will circle Soufre um, town mm -hmm. and onwards to Canaries, through Ancillary and back to Castries. Brilliant. Okay. Yes. That's so we brilliant. want to to pass through every major community That's to let them to herald mm -hmm. the word about safety. Okay. And it's your business mm -hmm. and you should prepare yourself for eventualities that may arise. Okay. All right. Yes. Brilliant. So and this I, is the motto. Mm -hmm. okay. And I understand you also have town hall meetings also on That's the calendar, right. right? So from the tenth to the thirteenth, um, we have uh, first of all, before the town hall meetings, let's start mm -hmm. in the morning, mm -hmm. the morning time. We've written to almost every sec secondary and primary school on the island mm -hmm. to host us. Okay. For just a few minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, mm -hmm. we want the fire stations in the communities mm -hmm. to, uh, to impact the students. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we want to speak to them for just a few minutes about f uh, fire safety, that mm -hmm. they can return home. Yeah. You know, they can, uh, they can um, uh, speak to their parents. They could make plans to reduce the occurrence of fire. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm -hmm. we want to impact the young, uh, the young um, people. Uh, so that we hope, again, the schools will, will um, invite us in. They will uh, listen to our, um, our lectures. And mm -hmm. they, even the school compound, the school facility can become a safer place as a result of those, uh, those talks. Right. Um, during the day, between the 10th and the 13th as well, every st fire station will have open day. Open day meaning you can walk into a fire station from 10.30 uh, a.m. onwards, mm -hmm. and the fire officers will be ready to receive you. Oh, wow, that's pretty They will share information with you. Mm -hmm. You will see how um, uh, we respond to incidents. Mm -hmm. You will learn much. Yeah. You will have a peep into, uh, or you will, you will be the, the whole fire service um, uh, uh, will be demystified. Yeah. You will have a peep into uh, the background and see what we do. I understand. And maybe even challenge a firefighter into some um, fun activity. Hey, okay. That's right. So you can <laughs> be a firefighter right. for a day. Hey, you know? So please, we are okay. encouraging St. Lucians to visit. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. from 10.30 onwards, between the 10th and the 13th, mm -hmm. and the 14th, I can say, the Friday as well, mm -hmm. you can visit any fire station around the island and there is a treat um, prepared for you. Okay, cool. All right. In the evening time, we want mm -hmm. to have some town hall meetings. Mm -hmm. Now, we recognize that uh, fire, again, Creole Heritage Month. Fire mm -hmm. used to be, uh, uh, the response to fire used to be a community thing. Right. Where persons used to use bucket brigade. By this they would use buckets of water, pass mm -hmm. it on mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. attempt to extinguish uh, fires. Yeah. But now we have seven fire stations on island in the major communities with two uh, fire halls mm -hmm. on the airports. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So in total we have nine stations from which we respond to eventualities. Mm -hmm. um, and so we want the firefighters in the various stations to work along with the district disaster committees, mm -hmm. all right, to, uh, to have such town hall meetings. So okay. persons can come in, persons could, could learn more about fire safety, they can mm -hmm. learn uh, more about um, uh, the, the district disaster committees, com uh, committees as well. Mm -hmm. um, they are very, these uh, the, uh, committees are very important to disaster relief. Mm -hmm. to, to disaster reduction in communities. Mm -hmm. Little is known about them. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Little okay. is, learnt, uh, is known about them. Mm -hmm. But we want the community to know them, to volunteer with them. Okay. This is uh, the arm of Nemo, which is uh, grassroots. I understand. The yeah. people from that form th those committees are, mm -hmm. co are coming from the various communities. Themselves, right. And so we want people to know about them as well. Okay. But we will also do presentations on, on um, the risk of flooding, and storms within your community. Okay. You need to know about the shelters, who runs the shelters, mm -hmm. how the shelters can impact you, can help you, yeah. when you yeah. can go to a shelter. This mm -hmm. is important information that people should know. Yeah. So yeah. we will be speaking about all of those things mm -hmm. at the, the town hall meetings. Okay. So this yeah. is happening between the, the 10th and the, the, the 13th of, um, of October. Okay. All right. All right. Now, before we just yes. carry on, I, I believe it's time for a commercial break. So we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, I know I want to talk about the Grand Safety Fair on the 14th. And also, I'm very interested in the fire alarm install installation activity. So let us know a bit about that. However, we'll be back in a few moments. The Ministry of Agriculture and FAO presents World Food Day 2022 CMOS Fiesta. Sunday, October 16th, Four Door Park, Denry. This is a food and nutrition strategy. 
CMOS Fiesta features lots of CMOS products, delicious healthy meals, snacks, nutritious beverages, beauty and healthcare products, and an array of CMOS brands. It's a family day with a kids zone and a wide range of fun filled activities for the entire family. Lots of entertainment, cultural performances, the legendary jazz icons Ronald Blue Hinkson and Jab Duplacy, the big bad DYP band, T Blacks, Umpa, and lots more. Your security is our pledge. Eat to live, not live to eat. Food is health, health is wealth. Food is essential for living as air is for breathing. Food security for surety. The Ministry of Agriculture has done it again. World Food Day 2022 CMOS Fiesta, Sunday, October 16th, Fordor Park, Denry. See you there. Welcome back to TV30. I am Jordan B. Set Joseph. Today we are discussing Fire Prevention Week 2022 with Officer Francis. Now, before we went to break, um, we were talking about the town hall meetings. But as I said to you, I really want to hear about the Grand Safety Fair that's also happening on October the 14th. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, so on October the 14th, we plan to have a Grand Safety Fair at the Constitution Park in mm -hmm. Castries. Mm -hmm. um, from about 9.30 to about 5 o'clock, we will have much on display. Okay. Uh, including entertainment. Okay. All right. So I will not tell you all about the entertainment. You need okay. to come to see. But mm -hmm. fire officers would be, uh, should I say, uh, modeling. Mm -hmm. and oh, it is really? something to see. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but with, you will learn something. Yeah. The yeah. intent, everything has some lesson in there, some uh, a moral in there, and you will learn something uh, by viewing um, the entertainment, I would say, uh, for okay. you. Right. Okay. Okay. But uh, at that fair, uh, there will be much on display. Mm -hmm. So whether it be for the business sector, whether it be for homes, you mm -hmm. can come and see what you can place within, within your, your building, within mm -hmm. your home, mm -hmm. to make it safer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, we, we recognize that, that most persons believe that um, fire alarm systems are very exorbitant, very costly, mm -hmm. you know? But it is not so. Mm -hmm. Technology mm -hmm. have, has made it possible that you can, um, under $1,000, $1,500, right. place a very sophisticated system within your business place. Mm -hmm. for, your, for, your, for your home, a smoke detector or two uh, with a fire extinguisher can be adequate to alert you of a fire mm -hmm. and also to help you respond adequately. Mm -hmm. But let me say as well, one of the things that we really want to speak to people about is how to, um, to build a safety plan. A okay. fire safety plan okay. and what you need to put in there. Okay, All right? okay. Now it's very simple. Mm -hmm. All right, you need to go into your home, look at your home, and ensure that you have two ways out of every room. Okay. So go, go into your bedroom. Yeah. If a fire were to start in the corridor that you have to utilize yeah. on a normal occasion to get out, mm -hmm. what would you do? Uh, would you be trapped? Yes. So the, 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 the uh, principle here is you should have two ways out. Okay. It may not be two doors, yeah. but it can be a door and a window. Okay. Incidentally, if I remember well, I'm not that old, mm -hmm. but... Um, a lot of the older homes used to have a back door, mm -hmm. and that back door used to be in a, from a bedroom, actually. Yes, yes. Today, we don't do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they understood the threat of fire back then yeah. and what it, what it could cost them. Yes. As well, they used to have the virtues in, yeah. separate from their home, yes. from, yeah. separate from the house. Yeah. They understood the consequence of fire. A yeah. fire Very which true. went out of control mm -hmm. would destroy everything. Mm -hmm. So knowing that the fire is likely to start in the kitchen, they would have it separate. Right. And whatever they did in there, should a fire start, it will consume the, the virtues in, mm -hmm. but the house would remain we, safe. They would have a place right. to yeah. lay their head. Mm -hmm. But today, I mean, modern times, yeah. we want to have the, the, the top of the line kitchen. It's yeah. within our house. Mm -hmm. We use um, LPG cooking gas, yeah. um, which, I mean, it can do so much for you, mm -hmm. Con the convenience to it. Mm -hmm. But you misuse it, and it will take away your home. It yeah. will take away your life. Mm -hmm. Electricity. It's a very good um, thing as well. Mm -hmm. But you misuse it, you can, you can get electrocuted, yeah. and fires can start as a result of it as well. Right. So, all right? So yeah. the intent here is that you should know that you should have two ways out of every living space. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say a living space, it's an area of your home that it's possible for you to come or, or sleep. Yeah, yeah. So you can do that in your bedroom, in your living room, in your study, um, even in your dining room, right. however, your kitchen and your bathroom yeah. are not really living spaces. Right. You, you go in there for a specific purpose and mm -hmm. you leave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But should you have a number of persons at your home, it's possible to come. 
right. uh, yeah. um, for a short period mm -hmm. in those other areas. Yeah. And so yeah. you should think of having at least two ways out of every one of those areas. Okay. So as I said, a bedroom, a yeah. door, and a window can work. But yeah. think of the people within your home. Yeah. How possible is it for you to exit out of a window? All right? Yes. So you may have to put a ladder. You mm -hmm. may have to, uh, it may be a rope ladder, mm -hmm. but you may have to make um, preparation for that exit. Yes. Now, what type of window do you have? It, mm -hmm. Does it have security bars on there? Mm. Can it open all the way to allow you to exit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are things that you need to consider. Yeah. Because you're preparing for the possibility that something like this may, ha may happen. Yeah. I have yeah. gone to uh, places, um, um, houses where um, fires started. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the home owners would recount how they, they, they got persons out. Mm -hmm. And one lady was telling me she actually uh, dropped her, her baby out, out um, through a window mm. for a neighbor to catch. Okay. And this is how she saved her life and, and the, the baby's life. life. Because the fire had totally cut, cut her way of escape through the kitchen, because this is usually where you exit. Mm -hmm. Through a corridor, into a kitchen and out. That's correct, so again, yeah. you need to think about where you place your cooker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because if you have one door, one final door out of your house, mm -hmm. and your cooker is next to that door, mm -hmm. likely the, the, the great possibility is the fire may start if, you, if it's from cooking near the door. Yeah. That's where you'll see the fire. That's where the smoke will be coming. Mm -hmm. You may not want to go in that direction. Yeah. But where else can you go? Yeah, because you have true. not made preparation to get out yes. from an al alternative source. Yeah. So have to ways out. The next thing is having smoke alarms installed. Smoke alarms saves lives. Mm. So smoke gets in there uh, um, and the alarm would go off. If you're sleeping, when you're sleeping, you're like mm -hmm. dead. You don't mm -hmm. know. You're not conscious of what's happening mm -hmm. around you. Mm -hmm. The smoke alarm would, would awake you. Yeah. And then you can make an escape or you can now use a fire extinguisher yes. to put out the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these are elements you should have in your plan. Again, mm -hmm. discuss it with your family. Mm -hmm. Everyone should know the plan. Yes. And as well, if you escape, if you leave the house, where should you go to? Right. Every person should know exactly where the family will gather. Mm -hmm. Because what has happened again is persons leave the house, they leave the area of threat, mm -hmm. and they go wandering around. The yeah. parents come out, an older sibling comes out and mm -hmm. says, where is my, my, my loved one? Where is my brother? Where is my sister? Yeah. The, 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 the parents are asking, where are my children? Right. And do you know... What's the next part you think that will come to their mind? Mm -hmm. That person is still inside. Yes, and yeah. so many persons have risked their life to return into the house looking for that loved one. And they may get burnt, they may lose their lives because they did not have a place to assemble outside. Okay. And, and this has happened many times. The stories are, have been recounted many times of mm -hmm. persons who have gone inside and that loved one was outside. Right. Yeah. So again, yeah. part of the plan should be we leave the house, we meet at the central area, mm -hmm. at the area where we are safe. Mm -hmm. Everybody is accounted for. Um, someone may return inside and help, you know, get some things out. This mm -hmm. is what happens in St. Lucia, mm -hmm. you know. But again, do not forget to call the fire department. Right. We don't smell smoke and come running. Yeah. Someone needs to call. Okay. And the number is 911. Yeah. 911 will get you help. It will go to our central dis dispatch. The information will come to the fire department. Okay. It's also good to know the, the number for the fire station near you. Okay. Every fire station has a number apart from 911. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea to know that number as well. Oh, so in the it. event um, you are trying to call 911 and something happens, redundancy. Mm -hmm. You know the station closest to you. You can call that number directly and as well get assistance. But you need to have a plan. Okay, brilliant. Okay, thank you so much for that. Because one of my questions were go was going to be, you know, moving away from the event, but could you actually give us some tips? So thank you for that, because you touched on that already. That's brilliant. Okay, before we run out of time, however, there's a couple of things, because I'm seeing that time is running out, but there's a couple of things I just wanted to touch on as well. The fire alarm installation for a thousand homes. I would like to just, if you just t t give us a, a little bit of a background into what exactly is the fire department doing in regards to that. Yes, again, as we recognize, those fires are happening in vulnerable homes. Mm -hmm. Now, we want to give, we want to be able to help reduce the risk in those homes. Right. Because we recognize in this economy, people will just get even poorer. Mm -hmm. You know, the world is in a, um, in a spin and it doesn't, think, it doesn't look like things will get better. Mm -hmm. And poor people will get poorer, and yeah. especially with the statistics we have now. Mm -hmm. the, the church directory that, you know, 
the number of fires in homes, in vulnerable homes, will only increase. Right. So we want to do something active. Right. Actively, we want to reduce on that threat, on that okay. risk. Okay. And so we want to install smoke alarms in as many of those vulnerable homes as possible. Okay. Now, you may be asking, how will we pick those vulnerable homes? Mm -hmm. But we have um, ways of doing this. For example, okay. social, the um, Ministry of Equity uh, um, has um, um, officers mm. who would have details of who is less vulnerable, who is more vulnerable within the various communities. Mm -hmm. We will work with the district disaster committees mm -hmm. and those um, um, social transformation officers to find out who are the persons who are really in need of those, dev those devices. Okay. And we intend to go around the island between um, the 15th, right after Fire Prevention Week, mm -hmm. and the 22nd of December mm -hmm. to install those detectors in those homes. Brilliant. Now, this is not coming directly from the fire department. Mm -hmm. Well, we will be the ones installing it, mm -hmm. but the corp our corporate St. Lucia right. has done much to help uh, with this. As well, the parliamentary representatives or the various communities are working along with us to reduce the risk. Okay. So we are working with uh, St. Lucia okay. to reduce the risk in St. Lucia. Okay, brilliant. Now, again, leading on to that, before we run out of time, because I did promise you, a word about your sponsors. Oh, yes. Tell yes. us a Our little sponsors bit about are very important to us. Okay. And we hope they will continue in time okay. to come. <laughs> so, yes, we have IBS. Yes. IBS um, have come in in a very big way mm -hmm. um, with the fire department. Mm -hmm. Not only that they that uh, in not only that um, they're sponsoring our most of our events, mm -hmm. they're actually working with us mm -hmm. to see it through. Okay. They are giving their time, their effort, and a number of them have come into the fire department to help us uh, mm -hmm. strategize and to make this thing a reality. So I want to thank IBS a big way, uh, okay. in a very big way. IBS I, I, as well is Innovative Business Solutions. So okay. I want to see their full name. Okay. They are working with us in a big way. Mm -hmm. Windjammer Landing has provided breakfast for, for our firefighters mm -hmm. uh, for the morning. We are thanking them in a very big way as well. Okay. Um, Sandals Resorts have promised that they will provide us with some um, detectors as well. Mm -hmm. Ramco Plastics for, for providing um, the, the, the cutlery to uh, house um, the food, Coconut okay. Bay for lunch, right. uh, Goddard Catering for lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucy Lake has provided a number of smoke alarms to us. We are indeed thankful for them. Mm -hmm. Woodwood and Leeward Brewery, water and some drinks. Um, uh, Bank of St. Lucia for more detectors. Mm -hmm. We are grateful for this. Blue mm -hmm. Waters, the name stand, uh, you know, yeah. synonymous with water. Yeah. <laughs> we are thankful for this because okay. it's going to be a long day. Mm -hmm. uh, the distillers as well. Drinks and water, Excel signs. Mm -hmm. We want to put a big banner in, in town. So look up on Bridge Street. I want you to see this banner thing of Excel signs. Okay. But this banner will tell you more about Fire Prevention Week. Um, ice Factory, mm -hmm. um, massive stores for providing the humpers, mm -hmm. um, the Cashew City Council for making the Constitution. Constitution Park available to us. Okay. Um, uh, Mommy's Cuisine for providing food as well. Forest Springs for more water. Mm -hmm. And all the parliamentary representatives um, of the various uh, districts mm -hmm. who are helping us in making this thing a real reality, we thank them in such a very big way. Okay. And we hope yes. they will be with us as we continue in 2022. This is a start of a drive. Yeah. But we hope to make homes in St. Lucia safe. Okay, this is brilliant. the intent. Because fires right. make everyone poor. Yeah. And it may never come to you, but you will, I'm sure you know of someone who has been impacted severely by fire. Yeah, so we, we hope to make yeah. this thing something of the past. Brilliant. Indeed. Okay. Well, Officer Francis, our time has run out. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Because not only have you told us about the event, but you've actually even educated us in regards to what we need to do for fire prevention within our own homes. And I'm very grateful for that. So again, thank you for being here. I hope the things are success. And I also will be looking out to see exactly what is going on for the week. Because I think I would like to come over to a fire station myself and see, you know, a little bit inside. That would, that would be nice. That would be, be nice. happy to have you. <laughs> All yes, right. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay. However, it's time for us to go here at TV30. Thank you for joining us. See you soon. Bye-bye.